Choose the name of baby. Yes, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Pick Think of a your name phone. for your child. Anyway, welcome to Old Shine. I'm Gazman, and here we are, enjoying the trials and tribulations of being pregnant. Now sit on the bed. Yeah, go and have a seat two teas. Sex name in this day and age. I thought it was a girl's name, but uh, I'm gonna go with Happer. So, a baby girl name. Ava Olivia. Right. Emma. Isabella. Olivia. Sophia. Olivia. Oh, really want that name in there, don't I? Oh, good to live here. And bite ourselves on our booth room scowls. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's head on down. I mean, my real choice for a girl would be uh, Siobhan. Well, at least that's what everybody will think it says when it's written down, but actually it's just it's pronounced Siobhan. You know, just to, just to troll everyone. So, so after three months, see if we can get the hang of this door. Uh, oh, we're up on there. Yeah. <laughs> getting better, getting better. So let's head on in. And uh, there they are. Let's see how much we why. I am gaining weight because of my baby. I want to eat ice cream. That's well, sort of normal, but uh, I suppose for one of these Hollywood weirdo Satanist types who really like, well, we're getting all this weight due to ice cream. I want to eat a baby. But uh, fortunately, we're not that way inclined. Us normies. So let's uh, see what's in the freezer. Or some Hagen Jerry's or whatever. Maybe a knobbly bobbly. No. Nope. Come on for the. Uh, Cornetto? Or Calippo? I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, can you shut the freezer? No, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let let's just let the contents defrost. You know, it's only you know, a couple hundred pounds worth of frozen I'm food. Feeling now. suffocating. What will I do? Oh, you're suffocating with a banner advert I stuck across your head. It's worse than a plastic bag. I need to go outside the house. Yeah. Go outside the house and get some fresh air. That's where the fresh air tends to be. Yeah, head on out. Follow the footprints. Oh, we're going on press evasion, are we? Went out into the outside world. And uh, to that precise spot where the fresh air is. Presumably. to have fresh air. Yeah. It seems like a sensible thing to do. Let's walk past her nasty looking weeds and stand on that precise spot between the uh, go to right. unity asset trees and then go to the right. Ooh, some magic trees. They provide air freshener, fresh air or that. Walk other side. One of them's uh, Gwyneth Paltrow Fanny, and the other one's a uh, new car smell. Hopefully, they cancel each other out. Mm. Neither sounds appealing. Yep. You need, you need to be more precise in your. There, there you go. In feeling good now, what will I do? Good question. Um, 
go in. I need to water in the plant. Oh, so maybe we just kicked her in the bladder. Now pick up the water and then water the plants. No, she's actually just gonna go and actually water the plants. Which is fair enough, you know, it's uh, passes the time. Now water the plants and trees. Yeah, so Yeah, let's go and water our weeds. Whatever the hell they are. Not like uh sort of prize winning leaks or rhubarb or something. Just yeah, just yeah, just yeah, that's close. Water enough. the trees. So, yeah, and the trees as well. Grow my pretty unity assets. Yeah, have a drink. Have a drink on me. There you go. Water the plants. Yep. The plants. I'm gonna head on down here and skip the magic trees. Yep. Should be hanging off of a the rear view mirror in a giant car somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'll just uh, what are the outside the house plants. Cather in the room. I have to avoid pets during pregnancy. Please take the cat out of the house. Yeah, she's using pregnancy as an excuse just really to get okay, rid my of that dear, don't worry. bloody cat that we bought during uh, lockdown. It's like the novelties have worn off and it's taking care of the mouse problem. And uh, you know, now go just, outside the house. Yeah, just uh, it needs to go. Not so. Uh, Snooker jockey husband is uh, wanting to get some wet paint at the crucible. Yes. And uh, just drop the cat outside like Fred Flintstone. So hopefully, I'll put some food out there. I might stay out there rather than jump in the window and chuck us out the window like in uh, like the Flintstones. So, so. I'm going to put uh, some Sheba or some. Uh, Whiskers, no. Some cat cereal. No, shut your microwave, no. No, just, uh, yeah, just let, let that little bulb burn out. Yeah. Yeah. It's keeping the light on in the microwave. Yeah, here, cat. Here's some cat flakes, or. Now go and make coffee and give it to your wife. Going for some hot coffee and give it to your wife. That was how we ended up in this predicament. But, uh, yeah. Put down into the coffee maker. Put down into the coffee maker. So we've got one of those fancy ones like uh, George Clooney used to advertise. We've got a friggin' vending machine in our house. There we go. That's a good thing. I've got a pocket full of change. Yep, there we go. Your wife. Just take it to my wife. Here's your coffee. You owe me like 140 you now. Thanks, it's very tasty. Mother is feeling sad. Oh no, she has the sad. Take some happy. Let's play some piano. Or that, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Go towards piano. Go in direction of music thing. Yeah. So obviously we're uh, quite far along now. For that's you know, it's, it's never too late to. There's never a bad time to take up a new hobby. Anything really. So. Uh, I want to get all musical and stuff from that. Yeah, like, so we can handle the door. Whoa! Whoa! Success! So where's our... Oh! The... Oh! Just... Yeah, so as you do, you know, you just, uh... Take up an expensive new hobby, and it's like in this instance, the piano. It's like we nowhere else to put it, so we'll just plunk it down the living room right in front of the friggin' now TV. So we can... At least watch the TV while we're playing. I 
had a single lesson in my life. But uh, there you go, I'm just gonna play uh, one of the traditional songs of my people. Of course, if anybody's got any requests, I'm gonna stick them in the uh, comments and that. But, uh, but after the fact, I mean, I'm no musical maestro, but I'm pretty sure H isn't a note you can hit normally. But uh, try it on my magic piano. Doesn't even need tunes. Listen to it. Eat, help John eat your heart out. Okay, let's go for the EastEnders theme tune. Popping off all those notes there into the ether or the advert. That's how it sounds to her and to him. Nice honey. Nice honey, Thanks, aren't you a bee? You're not feeling well. Oh crap! What have toys all over the floor? Mark. Let's go to hospital. My dear question mark. Let's go and get your colon checked. Exclamation. Go towards the hospital. So it's the next level of the getaway here. So yeah. Let's run a tight title on it. Just, uh, whoa. This guy. Yeah, he obviously learned to drive in some sort of arcade. Ah Careful! Hell. Right, okay, the hospital should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Look out! Ah! Freaking hell, man! Jeez! Your wife's a better driver than you. You're, you're, you're an embarrassment. Yes, <laughs> she's now paralyzed from the waist down. Let me check you. Who needs an epidural, huh? That's okay, I'll just treat you for being pregnant and uh, injuries consistent with a car, many car crashes. Doctor, please tell so, me a couple hours later. Is okay. Uh, yeah! You have a baby boy. Thanks, Doctor. In uh, a pause for me, yay! Um, yeah, is that the time? And uh, the doctor, like, slinked off, so it was like... So let's uh, make our way in here. Somehow. We'll just uh, come in and... Go, what the fuck is that? That came out my wife? Look, quick, get back in the room. Get back in. Get back in. <gasps> Did she die? Fuck! She's flatlined. She said the sheep pulled over her. No, no, no! Fucking hell! What the fuck it actually is that? No! Now he is too much cute. Yeah, he's so too much. much. Congratulations, my love. Congratulations, my love. And she goes, eh. To be continued. I fucking hope not. 